Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you today. This one's from a company by the name of Grill Gun. I just happened to be floating around on Facebook, scrolling down through there, and I happened to run across this product, and I watched the video, and I thought, you know what, I don't know that I'd have any use for that, because I really don't cook on the a charcoal grill that much. I thought, well, you know, what could I use it for? And I scrolled on past it, and I got to thinking, and I thought, you know what? That'd be really handy to start campfires. That'd be really handy to, you know, go around and, and burn weeds in the in the driveway and around the yard, you know. It gets aggravating spraying weed killer and having to wait two weeks, you know. Plus, uh, it looks like it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun to play around with. I ended up getting one and, and uh, I just got it unboxed and uh, you got your grill gun and then you've got your, your stand for your propane bottle and hold, hold your gun as well and then you know if you opted to you can get the uh, hose that hooks to the 20 pound propane tank so you know that should be fun and then you know I've got a couple different types of propane bottles here you can uh, use to hook to the gun and and uh, it accepts you know you know this this kind here which most plumbers use and then it accepts this kind here which you know most Coleman uh, cook stoves and camping type stuff use and then like I said you know you can use a, a refillable propane tank uh, as long as you got that hose adapter right there you can hook it to it first things first you know the whole principle behind this thing is pretty simple you've got uh, you hook your your bottles in here or your hose in here uh, to your propane and then you got an adjustment valve up there and then you got a trigger and a you know a safety right here to keep the, the gas from going out and then you have an igniter right in here and so when you squeeze that trigger you can see in a little electrical spark down in the center of that tube in there I don't know if you can see down in there good enough or not but you'll have to take my word for it whenever you pull that trigger you'll see a little a little spark jump in there and so that's what uh, causes it to ignite now before I go ahead and get the gun and all that stuff hooked up I wanted to go ahead and show you the stand and how it works uh, you've seen how the bottle fit down in here you know the gun will be hanging off the front of it like this and it'll hold hold it in place you can see right there I'm sorry forgot the camera was on the tripod there for a minute and let's say you've, you want to use this other type of bottle and this is too too big well what you do is you take and it's got like a little spring loaded hinge right in here push that in with your thumb and slide it down and then you do it on this other side and you just push it down spring loaded part and then you slide it down to this other notch right in there there's two notches the top notch is for the the bigger green size bottle and this little smaller notch it's not as deep is for the the blue and the the uh, yellow bottles so you can use you can use a uh, propane or you can use that map gas uh, in this thing and it, it takes those little long skinny bottles and uh, you know as long as you put it in there with a the gun pointing this way you know it's not gonna fall over alright now whenever you get the grill gun out of the box it'll have this little plastic cap down here on the bottom and what you want to do is just unscrew the cap and you'll unscrew it and pull down on it at the same time it'll just slide right off and then as you can see I don't know if you can read that or not but it's got a warning label on there and basically in so many words it says hey don't be don't be an idiot and tighten this up too much because if you do it can mess this housing up right here you could probably crack it so whenever you go to tighten this thing up just make sure it's nice and snug but don't over tighten it because you will crack it that's that's brass right in there and you know you could brass is a soft metal so you don't want to break that off and mess your gun up take your bottle your propane bottle and then you're just gonna take and and screw it on carefully and remember right tidy lefty loosey I shouldn't have to tell some of y'all that I'm sure y'all heard that all your life and you still turn it the other way I'm guilty of it myself sometimes I can feel the bottle tightening it up just a little bit just I'm not even gonna force it that's as much as I'm gonna put on it so should be good to go right there and just to give you guys an idea of how that thing fits down in that stand 
you can see that it fits in there nicely and the way the gun hangs over that way and and the way the stand is made uh, it's not going to fall you know as long as you get it on good solid ground all right now what you want to do is open the gas valve here on the top just slowly open it up you'll hear the gas coming out then you want to squeeze the trigger then when you squeeze the trigger uh, the flame comes out the end once you got it lit like that you can adjust the flame and make it larger by opening the valve up right here or if you don't want to mess with that valve you can take and mash this little safety button in right here and with your finger and then this when you squeeze the handle right in here this can adjust the flame as well and I'll show you what I'm talking about so I'm trying to show it to you up close and can see how to, to operate it and then I'm going to back it up where you can you can see me actually using it. All right, you can see I've got the cardboard packaging that this thing come in sitting down there. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys exactly how I'm gonna light it up and everything. And so what you wanna do is just take, open that valve on top just slightly, squeeze the trigger, it lights it up and you can uh, adjust the flame by turning the valve. Or, if you just want to leave it like this, you can adjust the flame by squeezing the hand grip right here. And like I showed you, there's that little push button in, that safety button. And once you mash it in with your pinky, you can squeeze it with your hand. And then now you got some real fire. So, just to give you an idea. Man, that ain't no joke. You get burnt with that, it's, you're going to the hospital. you seen it didn't take but a second to light that box up and so you know another reason why I got this thing is because I burn my own trash here at the house I live out in the country and uh, I figured hey this would be good to light up some trash but uh, I've got some logs right here set up and uh, we're gonna light these up and see uh, if they'll burn it's been raining the last day or two and so everything's kind of damp I didn't expect it to, to light them on fire just because they're so wet, but you can see that it charred it charred that one right there that I was working on pretty good. So I bet if I held it there for a few more minutes, I guarantee it would probably catch on fire because this thing's putting out a tremendous amount of heat. I can feel it all the way back here with it just in that uh, little bit of a flame that it's putting out now. I mean, I could really feel it on my chest whenever I was shooting the shooting the flame out at full speed like like this so, so it's pretty cool to be able to adjust it uh, by the the hand guard here and on top that is pretty neat to be able to do that because you know you don't want to have to sit there and crank that when you've when you've got it in your hand and uh, you can play around with it I'm gonna take you around the yard and let's uh let's torture a few uh, weeds all right you guys can see right there around my burn barrel, I've got some wild onions. Let's, let's take them out. <laughs> it disintegrates them. I mean, literally. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. I just cooked some, cooked some onions really quick. But, uh, you know, hey, if you got problems with weeds, weeds around the house I mean this makes short work I mean it just eats those weeds right up so you've seen it it melt that melted those uh those clovers right down to the ground there ain't nothing left so anyways uh, if you're lighting a, a barbecue grill or, you know, a campfire or, you know, just uh, tinkering around in the yard, uh, burning up 
weeds or just whatever uh, this is this grill gun works pretty good and uh, it, it shoots a hell of a flame I tell you that uh, another couple uses you could use this thing for is uh, you know putting fence posts in the ground I know a lot of the old timers that take uh, four by fours and uh, wooden fence posts and before they put them into the ground they'll take and uh, they'll char the ends of them so it protects protects it from rot whether it does or not I'm not sure but you know if you're looking to burn some wood this will definitely char it up seen right there it didn't take but a second to char the the bottom of that four by four i've also seen people doing a uh, chainsaw art where they carve the bears and different uh different stuff and then they go back and and char it on in some of the uh places that they want darker just to give it some more depth or whatever hey this would be this would be good for that probably a thousand uses for this thing you know you could even use it to probably melt ice on a sidewalk if you if you had to so anyways the way that you hook this thing up to the propane tank is you'll you'll have the the hose and it'll have a plastic plug on it right here and uh you just unscrew that that hose and this is the the end with the big black knob so the other end doesn't have a knob on it so make sure you're you're working with the, the side that has the big black knob and then you want to take it and push it right up to the threads on the inside of the no the nozzle there where the propane comes out. You don't hook it on the outside, you hook it on the inside. And keep in mind what I'm about to tell you is it's it's left hand threads. It's not righty tighty lefty loosey. It's lefty tighty. So when you push it up there, make sure you turn it left. And when you turn it left, it'll start tightening it up. So if you're sitting there trying to tighten it up, turning it right, well, you'll be there all day because it won't never start. So just make sure you turn it to the left and then you'll feel it tightening up. And when it starts to get tight and bottom out, you'll feel it. And that right there is as tight as you want to get it. And then on this end right here, after you uncurl the hose and everything, try to get it as uncurled as possible. What you want to do is just take and uncap the other end, but once you get it taken off, and you can see it's just got that little brass fitting on there. And then you want to take the, the grill gun and be very careful. Just take and slide this up on there, just like that. And then you're going to want to tighten it up and again. This one here is going to be righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you're going to want to turn this one to the right, and again, don't tighten it up too much. You will crack that housing. And then it works the same way uh, as it does with those those propane bottles. The same exact way. You just open the gas right here. And then you take and you open the gas right here. You squeeze the trigger, you, or you just pull the trigger and it ignites and then when you mash this little button back with your pinky and squeeze the handle then it blows out a big flame so same principle is using the smaller gas bottles there's really no difference I'm gonna end this video this is the final final word so make sure you like and subscribe hit that notification button and I'm out of here this time Talk to you later.